Right now we're getting ready for a little morning pickleball session with our friends. We've been trying to get out and play earlier because it gets so hot, but I fear it's still going to be really hot outside. I always gotta use a little something with a sunscreen. Kind of sad because I like my hair right now and once I go play pickleball, it's gonna get so sweaty. But hair is never a reason to miss out on an activity. I almost forgot deodorant, which that would be really bad. Whoa, you already have your glasses on. I'm ready to go. It already feels so hot, so I think we're going to die. Normally when we play against Nate and Rachel, they have our number and they beat us and then occasionally we will win. So we're trying to change the scorecard. We <laughs> always laugh with them because it's like you either go and it's the best ever and you feel so bonded like as a couple or we leave and it's a silent car ride home and just like not it. Anyway, let's go play and see if we have a silent car ride home. work for a while now and I was on my phone got on TikTok and apparently Starbucks is doing half off of all of their ice drinks every Wednesday until like August, until like August 9th so I think I immediately have an errand to run and it's saving money by getting a half off drink <laughs> I don't know if you can just order it or if you need to do it on the app I heard you guys are doing the like half off on Wednesdays is there anything you have to do through the app to get that no, you just gotta show me the app, app video. Okay, I'm gonna do a tall brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. Okay. And can I get that with extra ice and a grande cup? Okay, so you have to have the app, but other than that, it should just work. Personally for me, when I'm going out running errands, I'm gonna go get some of the pot. Yeah, no, it makes the experience. <laughs> yeah, like coffee, but you're not talking. You have to have a coffee, yeah. Thank you so much, have a good nice. one. Oh no, that's good. Yes. You too. We're having dinner at Rachel and Nate's house and then I'm on my way to the movies. I packed a pair of socks because my toes always get cold. So I have my bag, my sweatshirt, and ready to go. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just typed I in the code. Hello. I'm not wearing pink yet. Mm, that's tough. Nate, hi. It's mayonnaise, <laughs> mustard, like a pickled relish, lemon juice. That's it. It's kind of like dill. He has yeah, like 700 dill. ingredients to make. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, but oh, they're yeah, gonna get so good. That's how it's played. And then you gotta. Oh, oh, no, no. oh. oh. Boy dinner. We said this was boy dinner because it has no color. That's artistic. I should throw some. I could have thrown some greens on it. I could have thrown some. So Rachel had to put on her ping. Nate outdid me. He looks more like Ken than I look like Barbie. Drum roll, please. Whoa, <laughs> Barbie and Ken. It's more, pregnant Barbie. It's more Raquel. I just got back from the Barbie movie and it was so good. I didn't film anything in there because for some reason all that was playing in the back of my mind was about piracy laws and like filming stuff. So I just didn't, but it made me cry. It was honestly about like a lot of mother daughter relationship and just being a girl in general. And I don't know, I really enjoyed it. So I would highly recommend if you haven't seen it yet. Oh, in other words, I signed back up for my class pass subscription and I'm doing my first workout class probably for the past like two months tomorrow. And I'm doing a like Pilates on a reformer machine and the class says for intermediate level. So I'm a little bit nervous. I think I'm definitely gonna be sore, but especially with us home for the next time being, I am very excited to get back into a routine. 
I'll leave the like free trial thing for ClassPass in my bio for this, but basically you go onto the app and you have credits on there. So you pay for like a credit each month and then you can just like book different classes, which is perfect for someone like me because I want to do yoga, I want to do Pilates. You can book like nails and facials and everything on there. So I really love it. Got, fell off for a little bit, but now I'm back and going tomorrow. That was like such a good class to get back into the swing of things. I feel like it was just small movement, but it burned and I don't know. I'm just feeling like that was really good. So I'm very happy I came. That's how I always feel when I go to a class. It's like, I never necessarily want to go, but then once I'm there, I'm like, yes, that was the right decision. So glad I did that and I'm on my way home and I think I have a busy work day until I'm going to get my nails done this afternoon. Now I'm on my way to my nail appointment and I'm debating going like natural on my nails. I honestly haven't had my nails natural in over a year and I just feel like they're starting to break and it's like annoying to go get them done. So I'm almost wondering if I just need to give myself like a couple months of just kind of leaving them off or doing like a normal nail polish, which I know always chips, but also that just, might be the move so i'm taking this car right over to kind of think through what i should end up doing with my nails and just like that i am a natural nail girl and honestly it feels really good to like give my nails a break i feel like they don't look too damaged and the cuticles look really good but it's just fresh we hardly had anything because we were just out of town so i stopped at publix on the way back and did a little ketchup grocery shop i got a bunch of greens so turkey burgers for when we don't know what we want to cook spaghetti another go-to dinner cinnamon rolls those are self-explanatory asparagus mushroom tomato mangoes onion and butter a dairy-free yogurt for me and a yogurt for josh lemons cucumbers and rice sourdough bread my fave eggs of course and then just some chicken we have salmon in the freezer that i'm gonna take out so we should be pretty good with meat between the turkey burgers and chicken and then i got a little bit of like chicken sausage but i would say a lot of these are typical for our meals that we do during the week I really have been trying to get better about cooking at home because it's just so easy to eat out all the time. My thing with eating out is I'm totally fine to do that, but I want to be excited and like, oh yay, what can we go eat out as opposed to being starving, like not having anything to eat and it's like, ugh, I guess we have to go eat out. Like that never feels good. So I like when we have our staples here, we can do little meals, have leftovers, always good. We had this leftover in the fridge and it's just pasta, chicken, some random veggies thrown in with like butter and salt. It kind of hits if you don't have anything to eat. Plus I'll add some red pepper flakes and it just gives it like a little bit of spice. And with some chicken in here, it has protein. So I feel like this is one of my favorite, like easy, don't have much in the fridge, but we usually have these things. We are doing something fun and a little bit out of our comfort zone, but we've been trying to get into pickup volleyball since pretty much we've moved to Florida. I what for two years we've been trying. saying that we will get into it i played volleyball in like high school on club teams and then josh just kind of played random pickup with his friends and then in the summers i would come home from college my dad and i played in a sand league together so now i'm just missing it now that we're like here and since we both have interest we love having a sport to play together so we're gonna check out some pickup tonight Josh 
Yes. I haven't had a coffee yet today, so I'm gonna make a cold brew. I've been recently doing these like Tim Horton concentrate things, and I'm pretty sure you can get them at like a local grocery store, but I'll try to put it in the bio. But basically you do equal parts cold brew and water. I've been doing this like oat milk cinnamon dolce. It's really yummy. Let's see if this makes it perfect. I feel like the coffee is really dark, which I do like a dark coffee, but I'm thinking it just needs a little bit of something else. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, and now that I have a coffee, I actually have an errand to go run. It was my friend Alyssa's birthday like two days ago, and I need to get her a gift. The idea is there's a boutique that just started selling free people stuff, and I love my like little free people shirts or sweatshirts, so I was thinking that and a card, and if I can't find that, then I'll probably just do like a gift card, because I want to get her something I know she's going to like. I don't know why in my mind I was pretending like this cup wouldn't leak when there's nothing leak proof about it, so I just had to change because I spilled coffee all over myself. I honestly feel like I remember being in a little bit of a weird mood this time last year where summer's coming to an end. I live in Florida. It's very hard to be excited about fall because there's legit no fall and this is like the hottest part of the year. I also feel like Josh and I have been just doing so many random travel things, whether that's for work or for family stuff. I don't know. I just really want to start prioritizing rest and I feel like when you work for yourself, it's just like a hard thing to do because I love what I do. So why would I like ever need to take off and there's always something to be done but I think that is really true that that like creative part of your brain just wants to shut down for a little bit and I feel like because I get to do a lot of really fun things I'm almost like why would I ever need a break but that's just not true especially with Josh and me it's like he is the first person that when I'm feeling empty I take it out on him and that's just not healthy like i need to be healthy myself so that i can show up for me show up for the people in my life so anyway to summarize what i'm feeling is that if i prioritize rest i will show up for myself better in work in my relationships for me all of the above rant over i've not been into a boutique in so long and that one was actually so cute but i feel like in picking out a present for somebody it has to be just perfect so i saw a lot of things that i'm like Oh, she'd probably like but I just don't know so I'm gonna do a gift card so we're gonna pick up a card from Trader Joe's and then a gift card Chick-fil-A worker with McDonald's. Well, with all the bags like normal. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, these are for you. Aww. And this card. Now we are headed to go over to see Rain and Coda before going to the sunset tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And we got the coffees. The colors. Yeah, it's looking good. Mine does need to be shaken. That's so yummy. Mm. It's a spot. So good. Hi, buddy. <laughs> all right we are now running to the sunset because we got here late per usual but it looks really pretty it's been like storming this afternoon and of course god had to clear it up for us <laughs> we're so cold time to get fresh and clean and then rain invited us over to watch the summer i turn pretty so we have to be all showered off yeah. and everything gotta go 